Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The IIF function is another way of expressing the logic found within the if-then-else statement using a more succinct syntax. There are three arguments used in the function. First is the logical test to evaluate, second would be the true result, and third would be the false result. You can use this syntax in order to create a two-valued test. So for example, if you click the new button in the formula field, you can create a new formula. And click use editor. Let's say we wanted to evaluate the amount of the order, and if it was greater than 500, display the text good. If it was less than 500, display the text bad. Well, we can just simply type in IIF, open parenthesis, and then the logical test. If order amount is greater than equals 500, comma, well then that's good which I'm just putting in as a text value. Otherwise, if it's less than 500, well, that's bad. Which, once again, we specify as a text value. Both the good and the false result, or I'm sorry, the true and the false result, separated with commas. Close the parenthesis and check your syntax. No errors are found, so go ahead and save and close the formula. Now when we preview the report and we look at the sales, if the sales are over 500 or equal to 500, then it's good. Otherwise, it's bad. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.